And we are back, episode number 15. There's probably gonna be dialogue right along, right away, I guess. We'll see if we're infected or whatever. I have a feeling that everything will end soon. We won't survive this war, Artyom. No one will. Sure thing, whatever. Uh, you're... I feel alone again. Like when I was a girl and father was away on a mission. Nothing around me. Empty and... And I'm back from the break because there was a nude scene and I'm gonna have to cut that shit out. And now this guy said, things, said something on the lines and there's nothing wrong with me. So, let's see what he has to say in total. Nothing wrong with you. Congratulations, youngsters. You, Archeum, may go. While you, Anna, you have to stay some more. We need to finish treating your wound. <sighs> Thank God. Yay. Thanks for the... Whatever. Come here, darling. Now, the reason I didn't shoot that guy in the face, even though I could shoot at this point... It's because when I read the guide how to get the good ending, it said don't kill anyone. Spare everyone. So I'm assuming that's good to this that guy as well. Maybe he's like a... Since I think he's a chemist or something, maybe he has the antidote. Alright. <laughs> God save me, please. No, you have God save me, please. God save me, please. God save me, please. Are we going to go home? Soon. Very soon. Come on, give me some good points. Where's mommy? Where did they take her? Where's the kid? Mama's home already. <laughs> We'll be with her soon. <laughs> well, that's depressing. I missed her. I believe this. There were at least two no, more persons. I want to go see her now. You guys gonna converse? I don't know why there's not subtitles anymore for these kind of conversations. I'm assuming that's because the conversations are not important. Wouldn't it be better to just kill them off? This seems like a lot of suffering. Hey, what? Okay, whatever, let's go. What do I do now? You can't go into what the board. Do do? Go through the lab. Well, you know the prospect as well as I. You are so, I don't have to remind you about the gloves, the mask. You signed the papers. Yes, I know that. Yes, I did. Perfect. Now, you take the temperature every hour. Blood samples every three hours. Yes. Call me at once, should any parameters deviate from the pattern. Of course. You see, you have only to handle that stuff in your look at all this shit. So we must well, study them. What's there yeah. to do? They got off easy, but we got to pack all that. Yeah, and hey, what's the point? Huh? Should just burn it with the corpses and be done with it. They say it's to find the source of infection. Bullshit, if you ask me. No way to do that now. Well, those at the top know better. The guard room is that way. Strange, no important conversations apparently. Hi there, soldier. The disinfection chamber is further down the way. So, were you able to isolate the agent? Yes, and the no. It is an Ebola virus, but trying to cultivate it is useless. It's basically not here without the original Doctor, you know I'm not dead. Please explain. Uh, I'm sorry. Here are the facts. In the first two days, the mortality rate was around 95%. In the third, it dropped to about 25%. Today, we only have two new infected, and they have a light infection, prospects of recovery looking promising. 
As you understand, Moscow never was a natural habitat for this virus, and in its wild form, it remains dangerous much longer. So, what does all this mean? It is not a regular virus. It's a weapons-grade strain, engineered to achieve maximum lethality within a short time, and then turn harmless. Damnation. Where did it come from? I have heard of a new generation of bioweapons based on this virus being developed before the war. But where did it surface from now, after all these years? D6. Bioweapons. My god. Just in case, I have some Rangers questions. One of them could have brought this surprise from the past to the Metro. Yeah, most likely. And that conversation didn't give me anything. God damn it. Wow, the lights in this game are terrible. Need a coin? Okay, whatever. Let's get out of here. God damn, there's a lot of shooting. Okay, save point. There's some kind of an alarm there. Move! Move! You can't stay here! I'm moving. Artyom, I'm here! Hi. I'm happy to know that you and Anna are alright. We can't afford to waste time being sick now. The dark one we're looking for could really be the last one. We can't lose him. Let's go. But I have to go. But I have to go back for her insulin. She'll die without it. Your boys, I'm here. I can't let you go. How can we buy anything when all we had is back there? And Hans had charged you so much. Please. Hans gave you shelter. Stand back. Shelter to I die. I said stand back. I'll give you money for the insulin. Come on, ask me for money. And I can't buy it. Everything we have is at home. Could you help? Please. Yes. Thank you. No problem. Pam, am I the refugees sure were lucky. Because Tomlin's rangers were with you, but Corbett's men clearly didn't expect to be met with machine guns. Well, I wish you luck. Well, well Hansa could not protect the station without help, but they did provide shelter for the refugees and the hospital. Perhaps that could help them. Papers. Look, Sergeant, can't you tell us what's happening there? They don't let us check. And the rumors. Quarantine is no family games, as you understand. There have been some casualties. The medics are doing their best. Well, let's hope this is enough. And here, what should we do? Let's hope. And you should work just as usual. And take the rumors with a grain of salt. Thank you. I see. What am I to do? Okay. Oh. Look for somebody with. I know I missed a lot of these notes, but I really don't care about them too much. You can read that if you want. Okay. So that's what I plan to use on order. Just kill us all and then come back when we're all dead. Sorry, that's forbidden without the permit. That's our man. Let this one through because permit. Wow. He's our man, he got permit. I think you should stock up on filters and ammo. Probably you won't have such a chance anytime soon, of course. Well, we sure got lucky the Rangers were here. Why did they fight anyway? What do they care for us or the refugees? That's what puzzles me. Where's the profit? Nobody signed any contracts with them. We didn't even promise anything. What were they thinking? Nothing. It's their job. The Polish Rangers were doing stuff like this from the very beginning. What? Fighting the Reds? Nah, 
If there's an epidemic, dangerous mutants, anything, then police sends the Spartans to handle the situation. And what's up now? They came because of the epidemic, but we already set up the quarantine and the Reds cleared out the source. So they helped us out so that the Reds don't get too enthusiastic. And what's the profit Polis is making here? They're far from here, the epidemic wouldn't reach them. The states had that arranged long ago. Polis handle stuff like this, and nobody touches them. The neutral. They also handle negotiations if there's a war or shit like that. Ah, I get it now. I see. Don't start a war, but benefit from the results. Yes, that's good business. Sure, but we're not doing commerce to make a loss either. Okay, interesting. Oh, I can buy a teddy bear? Hey, Ranger! Have us some ammo! Come here, Ranger, let's haggle! Hey, some throwing knives, cheap! Grenades at the great price! I get some incendiaries, best jewel for competition! I have some mines too, at a special price. Come, come, take a look, Ranger. I have everything. Yeah, that's expensive. I already bought what I need from you. Can't fit that much in there. Come on, take a look. I bet you don't, you don't have, have enough space. space. <laughs> Good luck. Stuck up on filters, right? That's what he said. But I cannot buy filters from these guys. I don't think I can. Good no, I cannot. There's no filter guy. Artyom, take note of the funds Hanser expends on this quarantine. They are generally quite reserved with their money. Perhaps the they are aiming for an additional trump card to use in negotiations at police. Interesting. Good luck in the tunnels, Ranger. No problem. I mean, yeah, sh sure. My brain's not functioning today. I'm apologizing for that. Oh. Now this video is about ten minutes long right now, and I think I'm actually going to stop it here. Time and place. What happened could be life changing. But there is no time but present, and no place but the metro for us. And we must do everything we can to save it. I have to hurry and catch up with the Dark One. Anna has to tell her father of what Korbut and Moskvin are doing. Anything else is a luxury we can't afford right now. Yeah, sure, unless we're touching each other, I suppose, but that's... That's whatever, That's, you're not even going to see that, because I'm going to cut it out. But, I mean, it wasn't long, it was like 5 seconds. Still. I'm going to actually end the episode here, because I have a feeling that the, this mission is going to take another like half an hour, and then the video is going to be like 50 minutes again. So yeah, I'll see you in the next one.